Hey, my scuttle buttnicks, Tracy Silverman here with a video update this week. Kind of a slow news week, just editing video for my Stromboing Secrets series and working on the new concerto with uh, Roberto Sierra. But I also did a podcast for this podcast called Museum with Grant Ferris, and it's all about my instruments. So I had all my electrics out here, so I thought I'd do a little show and tell for you. So, this is my first Danny Farrington instrument. Danny's a guitar maker in LA. And when I was in Turtle Island in the mid 90s, he made a whole set of acoustic instruments that we performed on. Uh, and after the gig, I said, hey Danny, any chance I could get you to make a six string electric? And he said, sure thing, Trace, no problem. And like two weeks later, he had this thing knocked out Beautiful, that's his design. And it's got the tuners in the back here. These are banjo tuners, straight line tuners that come out here. Cool design. And this is not the original neck. The original neck is this one, which is completely fretted and goes up about that high. And then what happened is in 2003, John Adams wrote a piece called The Dharma at Big Sur. And I premiered that with the LA Philharmonic but it has a lot of notes that go higher than this fingerboard would go. So I said, hey Danny, any chance I get you to put a new neck on this instrument or make another instrument? He said, sure thing, Trace, no problem, I'll make another one. So, he made this one. And I said, hey, I wanted a little, some changes. I'd like a double cutaway, kind of like a Stratocaster, maybe looks a little more like a guitar. He goes, you got it, Trace. And and also this one was a pine on top. This one we put maple on top. Tried a few little things. Different tuning system on this one than on this one. So I go out to LA to do the premiere of Dharma and work with Danny in the shop on finishing this thing up the last few days before the premiere. So this was finished minutes before the premiere. And this was my main axe for many years. A lot of my videos that you may see on YouTube are with this instrument. But one day I got a call from the Stuttgart Ballet to do a very cool series of gigs of Salome and for the production they wanted me to play the entire Dharma at Big Sur, two pieces that they commissioned for me to write for electric violin and orchestra plus the last movement of the John Adams violin concerto. All very lovely except for the fact that when I play the Dharma at Big Sur I tune the instrument down a half step. So for the other pieces on the program, I would have to either tune it up real quick or have a second instrument. So I had Joe Glazer here in Nashville who made the neck, by the way, for this instrument as well. I had to make another instrument for me. So it's basically very similar to this one, except I had him change this upper bout and I did that because as a violinist, we like that sort of location device. And we tried this beautiful red maple on top. So now this is my main go-to axe. So in Stuttgart, I played the Dharma at Big Sur on this and the John Adams Violin Concerto on this. However, I did post about it on social media that it was a little tricky adjusting between the two because they felt kind of different. And this violin maker, Cyril Whistler, in the Netherlands, read about it, took a train down to Stuttgart and took all kinds of photos and measurements of this instrument and said, I'm gonna make you an exact replica of it. And here it is, virtually identical second instrument. So now I can swap back and forth if I need to on a concert with no problem. And that's the story of my instruments. See you next week.